opinion videos. You don't do that, please. Hello and welcome to this week's vlog of the Peter Greenwood Show. As you may have noticed, I am not in either Studio 1 or Studio 2. The reason why is because this is a, uh, a slightly different version of the Peter Greenwood Show when the one goes out. This is an experimental episode, it's a test episode for... Renfrewshire Weekend Radio, RWR, is talking about my friend Colin Kelly, and he has asked me to be a part of it, so I'm going to do this, I'm going to record a test episode, same kind of thing as I do on the normal show, but what I want to do is bring you to my home, where we'll be recording it from, as you can see on the wall behind me, there's a couple of uh, geeky things, this is from the first anniversary of the big drive home, this is where it sits, uh, it's this, this kind of thing, you know? It's kind of a geeky house, but I like it. Now, the only problem with doing it here, and I'm going to do a test here, because so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this recording. It's the same buzz that appears in the Studio 2 recordings. I, I could figure out how to get rid of it. I think it's probably the, uh, the picking up of the computer vibrations. That's what I think it is. I could be completely wrong if you know, let me know. So, let's get into it. Let's get into the first episode of the Peter Greenwood Show for Infrashire Weekend Radio. Although I would like to point out, am I still at the other station? Yes, I am. This is just a, it's just a little bit of a test broadcast. I'll be doing, we're doing maybe a show a week with Renfrewshire Weekend Radio. We'll see how it goes. So let's get into this the first episode of the Peter Greenwood Show for Renfrewshire Weekend Radio. A uh, very good evening out there to you and to you. You get a good evening and you get a good evening and. Not so much you, but you! You get a good evening. Welcome to the very first episode of the Peter Greenwood Show here on Renfrewshire Weekend Radio. I am the host of this train wreck, Peter Greenwood, and I'm here with you for the next two hours. And what am I going to be talking about on this show, I hear you ask? Well, I've got so much show for you. Seeing as it's Christmas, we're going to be counting down the actual cost of the 12 days of Christmas, and spoilers, it isn't cheap. Speaking of spoilers, we're going to be discussing Star Wars The Last Jedi. It is out! You can go and see it. It is a physical thing that you can go to, and I've seen it, and... And... Uh, I'll get into it. Trust me, I will get into it, my friends. But we are kicking off this very special show with one of my very special friends. This is the voice of Lise Kowalski and her single for her brand new music video just out this weekend. It is called Hearts of Gold on Renfrewshire Weekend Radio. About a month or so ago, I was recording in Studio 2 and I said, I'm never going to pre-record again. Ugh, never pre-recording again. Well, I kind of lied. And here's what makes it so difficult, is there is an easier way to pre-record. You just go in, boom, 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 you record your links and then you spend ages in the edit. However, you can do it the stupid way. You can do it the stupid way, which is the way I do it and edit as I go. Put in the music as I go, put in the jingles and effects as I go. Will you shut up? I'm talking to the, to the people. So that's why I'm doing it, and that's why I don't like doing it. So, first show started though, we had exactly 1 minute and 57 seconds worth of recording. Although, asshole face meowed in the middle of it, so we'll cut her out. That was Lisa Kowalski and Hearts of Gold here on Renfrew Weekend Radio. My name is Peter Greenwood, and maybe we'll be hearing a little bit of an interview I did with Lisa a little bit later in today's show. So, by now I hear you wondering, what is Renfrew Weekend Radio? Well, quite simply, it's a radio station for Paisley and the surrounding areas. It's, if we're only online, which is how you're hearing us now, hello there. Uh, but we're starting new things. And it's going to be very exciting, and I'm very thankful to Colin for giving me the opportunity to be a part of it. So thank you, Colin. It's, it's really very sweet of you to let me be involved in this. Uh, it's a thing that I like to do on these shows. It's a thing that I like to call the news. And basically what the news is, is I take a little look at all the things 
that aren't quite making headlines around the world, and I like to bring them to your attention, such as, with this being the Christmas season, there's that Christmas season, the Christmas season even, there's a th there's a song, The Twelve Days of Christmas. You know the song. I'm not gonna I'm not going to attempt to sing it, but you know the song, The Twelve Days of Christmas. I don't even know all the things. Uh, let me do a thing. Let me do a quick think. It on Twelve Days of Christmas, my true love gave to me twelve. I don't even know. I can't even. I can't even get. I know one of them, partridge in a pear tree. But after that, I get a little bit lost. Anyway, that's not the point. Because the point is, somebody has totted up. What would happen if you actually gave somebody all the 12 days of Christmas things from the list? And the cost is $34,558.65, which in UK money is about uh, maybe 30, 31,000 pounds, given the, tran given the, not the translation, Translation? I don't know what it is with currency, but either way, that's what it would be in about UK pounds, because uh, different things, like there's been an increase for, for gold, and there's been an increase in labour, so you couldn't have the maids are milking and the ladies dancing, and obviously you need to pay tax to the Department of, of Labour, so that increases as well. So, $34,000. For the 12 days of Christmas stuff. I think that's, I think that's a tad too much. I mean, and how long does that last for? I mean, does it count for, are you buying the tree and then, then keeping up the, uh, the groundworks on it? Or are you just buying the tree and dumping it? And what else, what else, I can't remember what else is in that song. Uh, are you polishing the gold yourself? What else are you doing in that song that's making it cost $34,000? I mean, think of all the things you could buy for $34,000. $34,000. Do you love somebody that much to give them $34,000 $34, worth of stuff? Uh, I mean, I'm just trying, to, just trying to think of the song. Cause it, I've got Partridge in a Pear Tree, Two Turtle Doves, I've got Five Gold Rings, Four Calling Birds, Three French Hens. Although some places say Three French Horns. So I don't know what it is. Is it French hens or French horns? Because I've heard different versions. Uh, I honestly can't think of anything else about that. But there you go. See if in a pub quiz, quiz this year somebody says, how much would it cost to, the, to do the 12 days of Christmas? You can answer. Upwards of £34,000. There you go. That's how we do that. That is the first edition of the news. Episode 1 is done. I'm just finishing up a little bit of last minute editing. That is the first episode of the Peter Greenwood Show for Renfrew Weekend Radio. Uh, I'm happy to be part of the station, but the, I'm, I've never done anything in my house before. I've never done a house tour. I've never brought a camera into my house. Obviously, I've brought a camera into my house, but I've never filmed here. And we're in kind of my office slash back room. But other than that, thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. I'm doing what they do in the news when they turn to talk away and it all looks very important what they're doing and stuff. I'll pick up, hang on, pick up my fake iPad, do that, there we go.